Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to create a water simulation from this still image using noise and high distort mode inside new. And also we will see heat edge distortion inside new. So here I have inputted about this image inside new. So because you just we have to distort uh, this image using high distort node. So first we have to create a map or animation through which you want to distort or displace this image. So for this just I am going to use noise node here or fractal noise here. So simply we can press tab and just take a noise and select this one press 1 here. So this is our actually noise node here. So with the help of this noise node just we will create animation through which just I will displace over this image here. So first thing according to this image resolutions or frame size just we have to make uh, this noise node size or resolution here. So for this what we can do simple press tab and take a reformat mode and just attach it here then double click here then to define properties one and just simple just we can define this side which is about this image size which image you want to uh, displace or distort here okay. So this is our image here. So here I have selected this one same side. So same size uh, just we have to define in our this fractal noise or noise node also here. So now after this just we have to just double click here so simple just we can reduce this size even you want or just simple come here inside the transform and then inside this scale just we can click on this two so just width and height uh, separately just we can adjust here okay. Even if you want you can also just simply use this x and y size simply just you can click it here and just you can use same value and just you can achieve same result here okay but actually just I am using this transform option so just the little bit adjust it here so just according to the requirement just you have to adjust all these parameters here then after this again just click on this noise tab here and just we have to animate about this g value so we will get uh, this effect here so you can see so now just simple at first frame right click set key then go to last and maybe make it one or two just play and check animation so now see this little bit movements here then maybe a little bit make it two so what we can do so again just simple click on next key and just we can make it two so we will get a little bit fast animations here okay so simple just we have to create this map or animation according to requirements even you can also just animate this transform x and y so right click on this transform and just make it set key here then go to last little bit down just here so now here just I created about this basic actually map or animations here now just I am going to distort or displace this image using this animation so for this just we have to take a distort node so simple what we can do now press tab and then type i distort node so using this i distort node just we will distort or displace over this image here so now after this just we have to take a copy node and just we have to create UV channels because this I distort node actually distort or displace any images using this UV channels here. So you can see this UV channels here. So for this what we can do so first just we will create a UV channel from our this fractal noise or this map here. So what we can do so for this just we have to take a copy node so press K. So because this image is we have to display so just B input just we have to connect here and from this noise just we have to copy UV channel so just simply A input just we have to connect here. Then I restart node simple just you can connect with this copy node here and just view this one here. So now after this what we have to do so in this copy channel use this RGB alpha and two just simple we can create maybe forward U or forward V. So just little bit just make it here maybe forward U here. So then simple select this I distort node and press 1 double click here. Now if you will see here 
we are not getting anything here because in this ID store code just we have to use this UV channel and same thing just we have to select here this forward because in this copy node here I have selected this maybe forward U or V. So both things just I will explain here but first here I have selected maybe this forward U here. So in ID store code just in UV channel just we have to select this forward here. Then we have to adjust this UV scale then only we will see some displacement or distortion here. Just select this UV scale. Now if you will see maybe little bit uh, this is just displacing here. So we are getting this animations here. Now after this what we can do for better output here that we can double click here. So this is actually totally depends on you this U and V channels and from where actually just you are creating this U and V channel because here I am using this fractal wise so if you will press A so we are getting same thing here even if you will use red channel so in red in G in all channels actually we are getting same thing because just I am using here fractal wise but if you have different different values in different different channels then you can also define here so now again just select the side start node press 1 so what just I am going to just explain here so because in this ID started if you see actually there are actually two values u and v so because here I have uh, selected u from our this copy node so if you will off this one so we will not get anything here because here I am using only this v channels here so what we can do then in copy channel if you will select this v so this will affect here okay so now you can see here so this is actually totally depends on you how you are actually creating this U and V okay. So what I am going to do here because in this rectal wise we are getting same thing in all channels. So just uh, two values just I am going to define. So first just simple we can define this red and use forward U then maybe in this green channel and just select this forward V. Now after this uh, if you will select guide store or simply press one double click here. So now just play and check first. So we are getting this result here. Then after this if you want you can just simply switch off this V. So we will see this animation through this U. And if you want to uh, just only use V channel then simply you can burn. So like this uh, just according to your requirement just simply you can define even if you want you can just define RGBA then forward U only or just you can define maybe multiple channels. So maybe this is a little bit fast here so what we can do. So just we can adjust over this map here or this noise here. So again press 1 and just we have to check and just we have to see. So just double click here again and just we have to reduce some this uh, G actually value here. So, it, so maybe now this is uh, looking good here. So this is just actually displacing this image and just we are getting this output or this result here. After this because this is actually uh, displacing entire image so for this what we can do. So press O, take a roto node, press K, take copy node and the simple we can attach it here. B then A with this roto node. Then after this copy node press tab and then take a pre multi node and just we can create a roto. So again disable this one. Now enable this one press D. So this is just only affecting this portion here. Then after this we have to take a merge node press M and this will be our background or B input just we have to connect original image and this output just we have to connect with our this A input here. Now just connect viewer with this merge node and we are getting this result here. After this just we have to use crop node because just we are getting this bonding box here so simply select this one press tab and then take a crop or reformat node. Now simply just we can play and check. So now the here we are getting this result so just simply double click in this roto node and just come here at same key where you have created your roto saves and just select all these and just move it here. Now just adjust this little bit further here.
So now just play and check again. So now guys, if you will see here, so because this is a little bit far away from the camera, so uh, we are getting little bit slower movements here, and here we are getting little bit fast movements here. So according to requirements, as you can adjust your auto save, even you can also adjust your this fractal noise map or animations here. So now again, select this clock node and press one. So here, simple, I created about this water simulation using noise and i distort node so with the help of same i distort node if you want you can also just create heat edge distortion inside new so for this just we need a again same map so just use same fractal line control c control v then paste it here and double click here and just remove this actually transform animation so just no animations here remaining this actually totally depends on your requirements here then double click here then select resolutions with uh, according to this second image whichever this one here so maybe this one now just select and just check maybe this map then double click here and adjust it with this x and y then after the same thing what we have to just take a copy node so press k this will be your b a input just we have to connect with this noise then in copy node just have to double click here then select this rgva again here then select the rgva and maybe urv or whatever just you want then simply maybe select this forward u then take a id start node so press tab id start this one and simply we can connect it here so now double click here and just use this uv scale then UV channel remember this one this is again important things here because I am not getting anything so just select this UV channel this forward here so now we are getting uh, this actually some see this one here even if you want you can also use this offset so just you can offset your image so you can see here actually okay so maybe here this is little bit just fast animation just we have to create so we stop and just adjust some animation so make it a little bit fast so again double click then go to last key okay, then after this again we have to take a roto note and press k so copy press o attach it here then press tab and you take a pre-mult node here and just connect it here create a roto node, roto shape so simple maybe okay so here just I created now select this one press 1 now take a merge node and just this will be background and this will be foreground here and just attach it here now select this one press 1 now just play and check So a little bit just we are getting this heat distortions here even a little bit if you want to blur this portion so what we can do just in this eye distort portion we'll double click here then using then this blur scale just we can adjust and blur channel just we have to use same forward u or v whatever channel you have defined here okay so remember this one here so again just in eye distort node just select this forward u here so now you can see here a little bit of blur here and the many things just you can adjust according to your requirements here so this is heat edge distortion using i distort node so guys here i have completed with this class how we can create water simulation using i distort node or how we can create heat distortion using i distort node inside new so guys if you like this video Please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.